Hello, welcome back to all of you into AWS Boto 3 and the Python tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can control your Amazon S3 by Python Boto 3 library. Amazon Simple Ser Storage Services is a web service that provides highly scalable cloud storage. Amazon S3 provides easy to use object storage with a simple web service interface to store and get any amount of data from anywhere on the web. So the Python API for the Amazon S3 is uh, available by using the Boto3. So let's enter uh, Python and uh, come into the Python command cell. So in the Python command cells, we need to uh, import uh, Boto3 library, Boto3 module. And uh, now let's uh, create a client here, S3 equal to the Boto3.client and uh, S3, right. So here the response would be equal to let's write here list all current buckets response is equal to s3 dot list underscore bucket so it will list all current buckets which is in my account so let's print it okay so i'm gonna print the response and yes you can see here it's like something a garbage but if you see it um, uh, very honestly, you can find there uh, it has listed uh, all the buckets which I had shown you earlier uh, in my web console, AWS web console. Right? So there is name, and then you can find out with that name. And so let's uh, <clears throat> filter it with the names. So you can type there the buckets, and uh, then uh, I'm looking for a name. So the bucket name, and then for bucket in a response right so in the response i am looking for the buckets okay so here now let's uh, print this bucket so what i have done here i have filtered out only the name from uh, this garbage value so let's print it so the print bucket list okay so the bucket list uh, would be uh, let's type here uh, the buckets right and the press the enter oh there is an error so i have accidentally added uh, one comma there so we need to remove that comma okay so here you can see i have um, filtered out all the bucket name into the single variable name that is uh, that is the buckets so in the buckets i have printed that using percent s specifier modifier right so here you can find out the list of buckets okay so here you can see there are uh, seven buckets uh, in my uh, major wave services into uh, along the three throughout the three regions but let me show you how you can uh, create uh, s3 buckets okay so for the s3 buckets you can write there there is a single command s3 dot create underscore bucket and then you can give the name of your bucket which you want to give the name to your bucket so the bu but bucket name must uh, must be uh, unique throughout the all users so uh, if you specify uh, common bucket name so it would not accept that name so that means it is telling that your uh, bucket must be a common name and uh, if you get this error that mean i have not specified the region constraint so i have to specify a region constraint so the my buckets my name buckets and then create bucket configuration and then location constraints that's the region constraint so right there the location constraint in which location you want to create the buckets so what to three actually don't take automatically your uh, current location which i have already set in the first tutorial so let's write it a b south one and you can write according to uh, your current region right okay fine so bucket has been created there and you can check it here if i refresh and after refresh let's just wait for a few seconds it will update there right okay so http status code is 200 that means the bucket was successfully created and here you can check it's uh, 
my name buckets and it's an empty bucket there is nothing inside this uh, bucket so i would like to upload a file to this bucket okay so you can upload any file to this bucket by using uh, file upload command so the before uploading that file you need to give the file name which you want to upload upload so i'm up, uh, uploading just a simple zip file it is known as to do list dot zip file so give a file name and uh, then uh, specify the bucket name so just you can write there a bucket name so in which bucket we want to uh, store that file so that is the my name buckets and uh, now you need to write s3 dot upload underscore file and uh, here we need to give the file name which we want to upload it's to do list dot zip and then the bucket in which bucket we want to upload and then the, there would be a name and that name would be uh, the name which will be uploaded to the bucket and just press the enter now the file has been successfully uploaded to the s3 bucket so let's check it into the our web console so refresh it and then you will see to do list dot zip has been uploaded to the server so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one in the next one i'll be covering more in about the boto 3 and the python and amazon web services and the cloud computing so thank you so much